Hey folks, how you doing? So it's 38. I'm gonna tell you who I picked for the for the giveaway. Uh, prices, you've seen the prices. Uh, it's gonna have a little twist, so stay tuned. First, I want to show you. I finished those two blades today. Uh, what I showed you yesterday. This is that crazy big uh, reverse tanto. Nice grind, full high convex. Pretty nice, pretty sleek. This will be this will be more like a you know like a foot prep knife or a self defense knife because it ha it's gonna have balance on the finger. It's small, short. It's not gonna be you know wood wood prepping uh, knife. So it will be either foot prep. Now one thing is like Kylie mentioned, the tip is a little bit too upswept. So maybe for the foot prep would be little little. The hand has to be a little too high, maybe not that bad, but it does have to be. You see how high my hand is, but uh, should work nice in the kitchen because you can do the good rocking motion and slicing motion with the belly, so it should be pretty good. And it's a it's a beefy blade, so maybe more like a fighter. Uh, and I finish these two. Ground is on, like I said, it did drop a lot of weight I think what was it 20, uh, 20 ounces 19 ounces it's 14 and f less than 14 so it did drop uh, what like one third of the weight and uh, I did manage to hit what I wanted narrower here you know leaner here thicker here same kind of deal here it's uh, not really noticeable I blended it in but uh, I really like it. I really like how this one. This is kind of you know reminds me of that Spartan, just a little beefier. It is thicker and it is wider, but it is really nice recurve. Has that down swept shape. Same for this one. Like them really both. And uh, I'm actually done uh, by finishing this. I'm done with all the big blades of this 3V. Now I have only the thin stuff for the neck knives and stuff like that. Hopefully I can knock this out fast too and uh, get them off to the heat treat. I uh, did one more modification on the on the small one. I really like the small one. I lighten up the handles. You see how many holes did I drill? It's still plenty strong. You know we have plenty of metal there. It's gonna be sandwiched with the handle material. But I wanted to get as as much the balance as much up front as I can because it is a lightweight knife. So. I want that uh, balance up front, and uh, it I, I shed only half an ounce. It dropped half an ounce, so not that much, but actually half an ounce all back there should move it at least a little bit to the front. I really like this blade, nice and nimble in the hand, very lightweight, and uh, and these two you've seen these two, you know the big ass crazy one, <laughs> won't even fit to the frame, and the big camp master. Those, it's gonna be fun blades once I get this off to the heat treat. I might not even wait for the neck knives because uh, I have actually the badge of uh, three V steels coming back tomorrow or the day after, and those will need to be finished. So maybe I'll get this off without the tin stuff. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, giveaway. <laughs> there was it was funny because I had my pick from very early on I really like one video and uh, really like the guy and I like the uh, PM he sent me it's Bass Fury 6 he made excellent video very nice even all of his other videos are really nice he is funny guy knife maker pretty cool dude in England and uh, he he made a nice video and he actually PM me hey Gav by any chance if uh, if I were to win, you know, could you could you send the stuff to our buddy uh, Stony Broke Bushcraft because he had a rough time, so he wanted to make him happy, and I love that, you know, just that you know the good video being very generous and nice. He was my pick from very early on because he was one of the first videos, and I didn't think somebody can beat him. There are great videos, like really nice people did really beautiful clips on movie makers and stuff like that. And I really liked it, but just a combination of a good video and the generosity, he was my pick from beginning. It was good videos, good videos, good videos. But then last night, on the last second, Tyler blew my mind. 
T-Man's one, our buddy, great guy, another great guy who needs a little support, a little bit of love. He just blew me away. You guys gotta see that. I'm gonna put this video as a video response to his entry. And uh, that makes two winners. I really wanna do two winners. So I'm gonna split the price and add some more stuff into it and send it off to the two guys, to the Stony Broke Bushcraft in the you know for, in the regards of the Bass Fury 6 and the T-Man's 1 and uh, I really appreciate it guys and I'm pretty sure all the other knife makers do too there was a lot of them were, were psyched that they got a lot of subscribers and uh, the publicity and stuff like that so I really like that I'm happy about that <coughs> and uh, I hope you enjoy those channels I found a lot of good good knife making channels myself that I didn't know about and I'm super happy about it so you know it uh, did what the, what it's supposed to do it worked out and I'm very happy about it and I hope you guys are too and uh, don't be don't be sad about the prices and stuff like that it's never about the price at least for me it's never about the prices when I do a knife re uh, the, the you know video response or something it's pretty much never about the prices it's because I really like the channel or I like the person and stuff like that you know or I think the video responses required are actually really cool and you know good ideas not just you know some boring stuff that we've all seen and done <laughs> so one more thing Tyler for you for your giveaway definitely check out Tyler one thing about me I don't think I mentioned in the video before and I don't think people know I actually do prefer to be called Mike not Gafko I don't know I don't think many of you guys know that. I mean, as much as I like my nickname and I use it all the time and have it everywhere, I do like to be called Mike by my, my, my ex, especially from my friends. So there you go, that's one thing uh, probably most of you or pretty much all of you didn't really know. So thanks for watching, guys. Congratulations to the winners. And uh, remember, don't cut yourself like Pinto Blades did. Guys, you gotta be careful with the power tools, they are really dangerous. Pinto blades can tell you stories now. <laughs> Go check out. Like uh, like, Coda, like Bruce said, uh, don't cut yourself, just has been brought up to whole another level. <laughs> Take care guys, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself, seriously. <laughs>